Uh, yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Javan Wade and in this video, we're gonna be talking about set etiquette. Now, for those of you in which are either booked your first row, about to go on set, or you've been working and you just kind of want a little, you know, re-up on what it means to be on set and what is expected of you, that is what this video is all about. So, um, if you guys are gonna be into this video, make sure you drop it a like, make sure you guys subscribe, and last but not least, turn those post notifications on so you get alerted every time I make a new video. Let's get into it. First of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Japan. Activate Sonic Cat. Perfect. So essentially, guys, I'm going to be going through a few of these tips. So first of all, I'm just going to give you the overall, right? Number one is showing up on time. I can't stress to you more what it means to make sure that you're on time. To not be on time in the world of filmmaking is the worst thing in the world. One, because if you're not on time, then it means that they can't shoot. And if you're required for a scene and they can't shoot that scene, time is money, guys. Which means that they're not gonna be able to get you into the scene, they're gonna lose money because essentially they can't shoot you because you're not there. And what does that mean? We can't hire that guy, we can't hire that girl in the next one. So make sure that you are showing up on time. Number two would be know your text, okay? Understand that when we're coming on set as actors, our responsibility is to know what our text is. Understand that, have you, have you read the text? Have you, uh, you know, digested? Have you broken down the character? I'm gonna do another video on breaking down the character, but have you broken down the character? Do you know what is expected of you? Do you know your intentions? Do you know what your sub uh, intentions are? Do you know what your overall intentions are? Do you know the text? That is imperative when it comes to being on set for you to be able to work and deliver at your best. And number three, guys, is know your lines. Now, I've got another video in which is all about knowing your lines and, you know, tips to learn your lines and kind of giving you guys some ideas and some insight as to how or what you can do to learn your lines. But knowing your lines is imperative because what it means is that if you don't know your lines when you're coming on set, then you're thinking about hitting your mark, you're thinking about doing all these things. You have so much to think about as an actor. When you're on set, you do not want to be thinking about your lines. You do not want to be in a position where camera is going again and going again, and there's already going to be technical difficulties. Don't add to the difficulties of you not knowing your lines, okay? So know your lines. <laughs> and last but not least, it will be, and I can't stress this, 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 this one, it, they're all as important as each other, but this one is, is so important. Come with ideas, guys. As an actor, when you look at a text, when you study a character, you want to be in a, in a relationship with your director where you're coming to the director and you're like, yo, look, I've got, you know, this, this idea or this is what I'm thinking for my character. This is what I'm thinking for this scene. When it comes to the blocking, when you're blocking out those scenes, for those of you who don't know, blocking is essentially a moving rehearsal which requires you to essentially allocate where you're gonna be within that scene. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Do you know where, where you're thinking you're gonna be? Do you know what your intention is? Do you know what the ideas that, 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 that is needed, that are needed in order to surround that character or surround that text? So come with ideas. No one likes an actor in which just comes and is essentially a stick. Because otherwise I could have hired anyone. I want your ideas. Take more credit for what we do and for what you know and for your responsibility as an actor and what you're bringing to the table and to that project, okay? So guys, that is what I would say is just, you know, some main tips when it comes to your set etiquette and showing up on set and what is required of you. Now, if you're not an actor, if you're a filmmaker, you're a director, still taking on board those uh, you know, principles and you can still use them in your own field. But essentially, these things come together to make sure that you are at your best, your experience is A1 and that everyone enjoys working with you. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop it a like. If you guys want to comment and let me know what your experience has been on set, I'd love to share mine. And last but not least, make sure that you guys subscribe. Subscribe, post notifications on so you get alerted when a new video is coming and join my community. It is here, it is waiting, and there is a plethora of filmmakers ready to network with you.